Greetings and blessings, beloved. I am Brian, and I love you. I welcome you to today's devotional titled, The Calling is the Ministry. Our scripture for today is taken from Jonah, third chapter, verses 3 through 4, NIV translation. Please feel free to pause the video to review today's devotional content on the slide. When you are ready, continue with today's recording. Today's shared experience is a continuation from the Lenten season devotionals offered previously, so please feel free to check them out for context and clarity. And now, for today's shared experience. Throughout my time in the place where God had directed me to be, I had gleaned invaluable lessons that would benefit both others and myself for years to come. In the initial days and weeks of settling into my new role, it became increasingly clear that the work I was engaged in transcended the realm of a mere job or entry-level career. Rather, I came to understand that what I was undertaking was in fact a ministry, a calling that was ordained by God, God's self. You see, God had fashioned me with a purpose in mind. He furnished me with the necessary tools to fulfill that purpose. These tools now, they encompass the spectrum of attributes ranging from life skills and personal experiences to academic and clinical training, as well as spiritual insights. God equipped me to minister to a segment of his people, a segment that was often overlooked, despised, rejected, and misunderstood. In this ministry to which God had appointed me, I found the opportunity to ignite hope and to inspire others. It enabled me to deploy my skills to offer healing, compassion, empathy, mental health support, hope, and advocacy for social justice to those who are under my care. Thus, my tenure in this ministry setting not only imparted numerous lessons, but it also reshaped my perspective on my vocation, transforming it into a sacred calling, an opportunity to serve rather than merely function in a career. The lyrics from the song, Order My Steps by GMWA, Women of Worship, come to mind, specifically the lyrics that state, Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father, I pray. Order my steps in your word. Please order my steps in your word. Today's scripture, taken from Jonah, third chapter, verses three through four, NIV, reads, Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city proclaiming, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. Today's scripture emphasizes the significance of ministries in our lives and the lives of others. Three themes emerge. One, evangelistic ministry. Jonah's proclamation of God's message to the Ninevites aimed to lead them to repentance and faith in God, thereby bringing about spiritual transformation. 2. Missionary Ministry Jonah's journey to Nineveh can be also seen as a missionary endeavor. Jonah was sent by God to a foreign land with the specific purpose of sharing God's message with the people there. His mission demonstrates the importance of cross-cultural outreach and the spreading of the gospel to all nations. And 3 intercessory ministry. Jonah's role as a mediator between God and the people of Nineveh can be seen as an intercessory ministry, as he pleaded with God on behalf of the city, hoping to avert the impeding judgment. Beloved, consider today's thought for the day. What ministry has God called you to? How can you discern and respond to God's call in this assigned ministry, even when it may lead you outside of your own comfort zone? Beloved, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, as we reflect on Jonah's ministry in Nineveh, we are reminded of your unwavering guidance and grace. Just as you directed Jonah to share his message, we seek wisdom and strength for our own ministries. May we be filled with love and compassion for those that we serve, reflecting your grace to all. Lord, please bless our efforts and make us instruments of your peace and reconciliation. May your name be glorified through our ministries and your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Beloved, I love you. Thank you for taking a moment to share with me in today's devotional. Always know and always remember that you are loved. Peace and blessings.